Hello, I am Hansa Kinkini Devroy and I am one of the faculties of the Behavioral Economics program at the James Lind Institute, Switzerland. So today I am here to talk to you about what is behavioral economics and why you should study behavioral economics. So behavioral economics combines elements of economics and psychology to understand how and why people behave the way they do in the real world. It differs from neoclassical economics which assumes that most people have well-defined preferences and make well-informed self-interested decisions based on those preferences. Behavioral economics is grounded in the observations of human behavior which have demonstrated that people do not always make uh, rational or optimal decisions or choices even if they have the information and the tools which are available to do so. This characterization actually draws a contrast to traditional economic models that have treated people as purely rational actors who have perfect self-control and never lose control, never lose sight of their long-term goals or as people who occasionally make random errors that cancel out in the long run. Several principles have emerged from the behavioral economics discipline that have helped economists better understand human economic behavior. From these principles, governments, businesses, uh, etc. have developed policies, frameworks to encourage people to make particular choices. Behavioral economics um, mainly started with the work of uh, Israeli psychologist Amos Tversky and uh, Daniel Kahneman on uncertainty and risk. So during the years of 1970s through 1980s, Tversky and Kahneman identified several consistent biases in the way people tend to make choices judgments, finding that people often rely on easily recalled information rather than actual data when evaluating the likelihood of a particular outcome. And this concept is known as availability heuristic. For example, people may think uh, shark or bear attacks are a common cause of death if they have read about one such attack, but the incidents are actually very rare. Um, in fact, uh, Richard Thaler's theory of uh, nudge is a theory which is very important in the field of behavioral economics. This theory, that is Thaler's nudge theory, is one uh, which defines or examines the chances of influencing people's behavior by appealing to their emotions rather than enforcing them through other means. The theory proposes uh, using positive reinforcements and indirect suggestions to make people follow a certain path of action. It is founded that uh, based on the influence of the environment, also called, called choice architecture, uh, which can impact the chances of individuals choosing one alternative over another. Now, why why should we study behavioral economics? Let us understand that. Behavioral economics research can help us better comprehend anomalies in consumer choices and better understand human behaviors, preferences, and cognitive errors. Behavioral economics is used in various industries to understand consumer behavior pattern. There is a wide range of applications of behavioral economics. In fact, especially in businesses, in law enforcement, um, in politics, in social, sociocultural dynamics and whatnot. Uh, in fact, uh, the career choices which a person can make after studying behavioral economics is uh, maybe market research analyst where research uh, is actually a central part of behavioral economics. So the 
field is always evolving and researchers can uh, work in private or public sectors and implement economic theories which are rooted in psychology again they can become consultants they can they can become professors in the field of behavioral economics um, so the um, the need for qualified professors and lecturer is growing so you can work directly with students and typically perform your own research studies uh, through your university or college and however a PhD in behavioral economics is required in this regard um, also becoming policy advisors behavioral economics allows advisors to look at the small ways to influence citizens uh, such as eating healthy or having more eco-friendly lifestyles as an example a person can become an advertiser also behavioral uh, finance specialist is another uh, career choice which a person can take because the financial sector greatly depends on uh, financial market experts uh, to produce better tools to facilitate the massive um, money sector so this is how behavioral economics can be used in various uh, various career choices and it is very helpful in today's time when the market is constantly evolving and a lot of research work is required um, for this instance uh, thank you